Another day, another AI tool. Hi everyone, my name is Kushal Vijay. I work as a software engineer for Microsoft, and in here I share amazing tutorials and internship opportunities for students as well as working professionals. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss those opportunities. And thanks for the amazing responses on the previous videos. In today's video, I'll be walking you through an amazing tutorial for an AI tool which is very helpful if you are a college student, working professional, professional, or anyone. If you are building with AI, without AI whatsoever, now 50% of your code, I was talking to a lot of students, they are they have started using ChatGPT or any other AI tool to write code. In companies also, companies are focusing highly on writing uh, code with AI. Now with this space of AI writing the code, testing has become so much crucial that SDT roles have gained importance or a tools which can help you with testing people who can use those tools have gained a lot of traction without any further ado let's jump onto the video and i'll let you know what the tool is about let's get started so first things first why testing is actually important now imagine 50 percent of the code that you're writing today is written by ai you software engineers or whatever development happening around the globe you can check it out on the internet also the problem with that thing is since everybody is writing code, let me fix the light. So since everybody is writing code with AI, now every developer can write too much code in too less time. There has to be some tools available in the market which can fix this problem with the help of AI itself. And that is our tool also today. And it is pretty much important if you are a developer or a tester or someone who want to aspire to get into this field to know about this tool because it obviously shows your caliber about knowing different tools and the information that it provides like the level of extent to which AI can think of is ins insane. Go to Google and write test sprite and go to the home page. It's a simple home page where is easiest AI agent for software testing as simple as it can be but the complex things it do under the hood is amazing. It's an amazing tool which will help you write test for your products or your existing uh, employer or your college projects also. If you're a professional or a college student, you guys can use it. There are multiple companies which are already using it, so uh, it is validated. How, how it happens, our AI automates every testing aspect. So it gives you multiple layer of testing, edge cases as well as normal tests. It expect, inspect the test object, generate the test plan, and also provide the priority whether it's a medium severity or a high severity or a, or a normal severity uh, test it also provide your test code which you can update on the go i'll show you in a moment how it works without wasting any further time you can sign in with your google account uh, pretty simple i have already signed in this is my dashboard i have already like tested this tool out you get and it's free of course you get like credits every month which will get credited uh, like every month they credit you like with 150 executions or 150 let me ex uh, yeah I have like 150, 130 left I have already tested out a couple of things simple dashboard your previous runs and here you can create new tests and blah 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 so what shall we test today I don't have my own website running on the internet for right now so what we can do is we can test this just for your tutorial purpose we'll test this API of open whether you guys have used or gone through this particular publicly available API many a times I am I'm, I'm pretty sure that you have gone through this API before uh, they provide APIs as well as general public usage also we'll be using this API to gather some data from the internet a couple of things about this API later in the video let's start using it so this is the URL we'll have to use we'll be requiring that Let's get started with creating our own test plan for the same. It will be a weather app. So I am naming it as weather app. Now it is asking for backend related information so that the test sprite AI can test the backend API name. Let's name it as weather app backend endpoint is I'll just have to give that URL. Okay, so no authentication required. I am not providing any authentication for now it you can accordingly update it so 
while using the API. So I want to tell you in a proper manner, for instance, for someone who is a newbie who don't know how to generate API keys or not known about not do not know about API keys, that's completely okay. We'll go with no authentication later on. If our test cases fail, I'll help you out how you can fix those. Okay, so I'm not adding any API key right now. Uh, any extra information that you want to write API to get weather information based on latitude, longitude or based on location or latitude or longitude. Simple, simple stuff. You, you do, this is optional also. This is done. You can skip also. Uh, the the backend part you can skip the front end part you can skip not a problem so now it is generating the ai is generating the test plan so if i have given one api there will be 10 test cases for the backend five functional five edge cases let's go ahead and see so these are the five edge test cases 10 test cases it has generated pretty fast uh, high severity low severity and why it is important for a software test engineer or a software developer now imagine you have all the context what this test do specifically the edge cases is something you know in lead code questions also when we do pro practice problem solving edge cases is something from where we learn the most now these edge cases will help you learn that what kind of scenarios which can happen to the end user or end customer okay so like for example api rate limit exceeded extreme latitude values and usually these are amazing edge cases generated by test sprite ai let's go ahead and uh, run these test cases and see how many fails how many executes properly so it is running and the good part about test sprite ai it, it also provide you the code uh, as in the, the so this test case failed a few of them succeeded but uh, many of them failed kind of thing right so this is the code it has provided now it also provides you the test sprite AI here with which you can chat and get more information. A fixed window update the API URL. So it has given us a suggestion also that you are missing some API, which is the API key. So let, let's update the code in a way that, okay, API key is, is missing here. Now let's go to open uh, weather map. You have to sign in. I have already signed in. And I can go and use my API key here. One thing you need to know is pretty simple actually to generate the AI. It will by default give you an API key. One thing to know about open weather application is the API key will get activated after three, four hours. So you have, if you are using this API for tutorial purpose or for learning purpose, make sure post generation you wait for some hours to get this API key get activated. Okay. Uh, let's replace this thing with our API key and uh, this is done uh, let me save it other thing is you can ask any question uh, from the test sprite AI also but let me run this test case and see if my API key addition fixed this test case or not okay it doesn't let's see what's the problem uh, API ID okay the URL it is using is wrong seems like the url is used so now we have to go to the api itself like what we can use and what we cannot so i am using a free subscription and this can be used in a free subscription thing so let's go to the api doc this is the url i need to use let me or let's use this test data itself i'll copy this i'll ask my test sprite ai to update the please update the test case and use this end point url with lat and long as query param so see the, the AI will fix this update to test case in just one go. Very simple to use. Now it is regenerating the test case updating based on your suggestions. It has done it. I'll accept the changes. 
it has run it so api id the url has been updated blah 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 uh, so this is the url and these are the parameters okay it is not updating probably the params will make this thing work let's run this okay the test was successful as simple as that we have gotten a 200 response similarly you can fix all the other um, you know failed test cases and then once this is done you can go ahead to the next basically front end testing you can give whatever urls or you want to give or you don't want to test the front end you can skip the front end testing as well oh, but the front end testing part is also amazing by test sprite they even give you all the video recordings like what happened if some of the test cases fails as you can see on the screen also like what test cases fail they also generate a proper report and they also give the video uh, of how the ui testing went right so you can check that out i am skipping it for right for now then it will generate your report for analysis like what has gone wrong what can be improved and what is the testing score this is as simple as that but the magic under the hood that happens by test sprite is crazy i hope you would have learned something out of this video if you want more such tutorial videos make sure you comment down below a specific ai tool on which you want uh, the tutorial test sprite ai if you want to use this tool just use the link in the uh, description or go to testsprite.com pretty simple right and uh, yeah that's all uh, i wanted to cover in this video i'll meet in the meet you in the next video with amazing ai tool or amazing ai opportunity or uh, placement opportunity till then bye take care one thing i forgot to mention is test sprite is also launching their mcp which is model context protocol very soon and i will try to cover that also very soon for all of you so stay tuned and make sure you use test sprite for all your testing purposes 